Right, hi everyone and welcome to another edition of Office Hours Live. So if you're watching this, you're in the New Zealand Facebook group, so you may have just joined or you may be a long-term member here, but you're very welcome to spend the next 30 minutes or so with us, the team at Zenla, uh, to find out a number of things. So as always, I have David and Rakesh with me, so good morning guys. Hiya. Um, here at Office Hours, we go through a couple of things. So we'll go through towards the end of the show, the change log this week. So that's stuff that's been updated on New Zenla. It might be a technical update. It might be a feature update or a combination of both. We also have our feature focus. The feature focus section goes through something on New Zenla that you may not have used before, or it may have been a small update that we've done and you've just not seen it come through the group or onto YouTube. So we tend to pick one thing and show you how that works. It's normally very, very quick, uh, but sometimes very useful. We'll also take your questions. So if you're new to us or you've been around for a while, you've seen something change and something's not quite right for you. As we go through a couple of then you can always ask your questions in the chat whilst we're live. If the question comes in, then we'll answer it. If you're watching this on the replay or we've already closed office hours down on the live side, then we'll always come back into the chat afterwards and answer your questions. We're going to show you some of the resources we've got as well. So if you are brand new to us and we're adding in around about 50 to 70 people a week into the New Zenla Facebook group, then you might not be familiar with where all of the resources are for you that we've created that will help you with your New Zenla site. So we'll just have a quick tour through that after David's feature focus. But this week, we're going to start with uh, a bit of a change around this week. So this week, we're going to start with David, and he's going to take us through the feature focus slot this week. So over to you, David. Uh, thank you, Kevin. Uh, right. OK, so what we're going to look at today is reordering courses. Now, I had a request on Facebook, so um, I did a video for it. But I'm just going to show you how to do it live. So I'm just sharing my screen. So this is a problem that Kate had, and uh, it was basically she had a bundle and then she had a course and she wanted the order of this to be in front. Uh, really easy to do. And um, she was scratching her head for quite a while to get this done, but it's actually really easy. So if I come into the uh, courses, I'm just going to show you with this site. You can see I've got a um, courses set up in here. So if you go in here, you can see that these are out of order. So to put them in order, really easy. Once you're in the courses tab, you can just come down here and click reorder. So by clicking reorder, we can now just drag and drop certain courses into the correct order. Now I've done that and I'm going to refresh the screen by holding the control and hitting the refresh key. Now you're going to see that this goes in one, two and three. Now, um, the difference with uh, this, these are individual courses, but people have had problems with bundles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly set up a bundle. So I'm going to go in a bundle, go create a bundle. We're going to call this all courses. And then I'm going to click uh, create bundle and I'm going to add um, just it doesn't matter how many, but I can add as many of these courses into this bundle as I like. And I'm going to publish the bundle now. It's important to publish the bundle. Now you're going to see if I go to this page and refresh that the bundle would appear here. Now, in Kate's case, she wanted the bundle to appear here because it's level one and two. So she wanted it to appear at the end. So to do that, to actually change the order of a bundle and courses, you need to go back to the courses page and go into reorder. And inside here now, you're gonna see the bundle as well. So now I can take that, drag it down to the bottom and come in here and refresh it. And voila, we have one, two, three, and all courses as a bundle in there. And it's as simple as that. So guys, it's really easy to reorganize all of your courses or your bundles using Zenla. And that's how you do it. Remember, this is a dynamic block as well. So it's just pulling in courses that you create. OK, back to you, Kevin. That was a quick one this week, David, but a good one. Um, and again, something quite useful for people because it's such a small feature but it has such an in, visually impactful um, thing on your site. If, and it's frustrating if you put them and they're not in the, the order that you want. So really, and as you grow your site, so you add more courses, of course, then that's going to be more and more important for you because otherwise you're going to end up with a whole random order on there and feel completely out of control. So brilliant um, feature focus for this week. So thank you very much. Okay, right. Well, at the moment, you're in the Facebook group. Let's talk about some of the resources that you have available to you. And I'll get David to do screen shares as we go through. 
So we're in the Facebook group right now. In the Facebook group, there are two places that you need to really look for really good information. The first one is the announcements tab. If you go in there, there are things that are going on that we deem uh, quite important for you to take notice of. We have a very busy feed in the news and the Facebook group. There's upwards of 50 posts going in a day. So stuff gets lost quite quickly. So if we see things that are official or from us or things going on that are really valuable or we feel they're valuable to you, we'll mark them as an announcement. So you can just go straight to the announcement tab, see what's going on. We've got Wow Wednesday. We've got all sorts of things going on in there. Um, when we do the feature uh, update videos and we put them into Facebook, we'll tag them in there as an announcement as well. Uh, it is quite a clean area. I went in uh, a couple of weeks ago, so the stuff in there is current. Um, there's nothing out of date at the moment. There's nothing older than 2021. And when we get into 2022, I'll clear up the first part of the year as well. So you can be assured that what's in there is of use to you and up to date. The second area to go is click on the More tab, go to Events, and you'll see all of the upcoming live events that we're going to be running. Uh, you'll see the past events as well, but what you want is upcoming events. So if you see, for example, there's a live workshop now that's running on Sunday, you can say that you're going to that if you've got the intention of going. It doesn't mean it's hosted on Facebook. So some of them will have it. So, if, for example, Zen Chat Live, that's hosted on uh, the tutorial site as a live class, but the registration link is in that event. So you would still need to go and register. But if you click that you're going, it will remind you that event's coming up. So it's a really important thing to do. And often we want to go to events, we see them, we have every intention, but it might be in a week's time or two weeks time, and we just forget. And what happens when you say that you're going, it doesn't 100% commit you to anything. It just reminds you on Facebook, this event's going live in an hour or so, this event's coming up. So it's just a nice way of making sure you don't miss it. The next area you need to go and look at is the tutorial site. So it's tutorials.newsendler.com. And we've readjusted this along the top. You'll see a nice resources area. Uh, so click on the menu and it'll bring down a drop down for you. And you'll see there's lots of different bits and pieces in there, including things like the change log. The Zendler status, which most people don't know about, which is how Zendler is operating right now. Um, interesting if you want to go and look, you probably don't want to visit it too much, but it's a good place to go and see what's going on. And there's an array of different things that if we've created them as direct links through to resources that will be useful for you. So have a look on there if you're particularly looking for something. As you scroll down, you'll see our four zones. Um, we've done it like a Netflix style type of environment. So when you come on to tutorials, you can filter through what you're actually looking to achieve when you're doing something. So rather than just going on a site and trying to click loads of buttons to get to where you need to, you can come in here and go, OK, you know, I want to learn about marketing. So you'll click on the marketing one or you'll click on um, the Learn Zendler one, which will take you through to the masterclass that we've got. And then you can just search in the search bar along the top, find out exactly what you need. Um, it's really quite that simple. And, you know, that course in particular, if you're looking to get involved in an area of your New Zendler site that you've not used before, um, use the search function there. So, for example, if you want to create a lead magnet, you type in lead magnet and it will come up with all of the training for that. If you're looking to do your first live webinar, then type in webinar and it will come up with all of the training rather than having to go for a really, really long list of stuff and trying to work out where do you start. Um, so it's really useful. If you are new to us, you'd have been sent the link through to the Quick Start Guide. The Quick Start Guide is where we suggest every new member goes first. The reason being that's setting up your site or sites. So it's doing things like the custom domain, it's doing your branding, it's getting you familiar around what New Zealand has to offer. And a lot of it is one-time stuff. It takes between two to four hours, setting up payment processes, all of that type of thing, that once it's done, it's done rather than I want to do my course and then it's like, well, you don't have a payment processor connected or the branding looks wrong. You don't need to do it that way. Do the quick start guide first. Two to four hours, you'll be very grateful that you've done it at the beginning rather than trying to just hit stumbling blocks as you go through, which is where frustration and overwhelm starts coming in. So a really useful area there. All of this is training. 
So this is the boot camps. It's the how to use Zenless stuff. It's the marketing stuff. And there's also some little ninja tricks and other bits and pieces in Zenler extras. So you might want to go and explore. The last place to go is YouTube. So over on YouTube, we've got youtube.com forward slash C forward slash Zenla. This is where a lot of videos go where you won't find anywhere else. Um, we do that because they don't fit anywhere else. If we put them in Facebook, they get lost. If we put them on the tutorial site, they're not really a, a learning thing. Um, so for example, we'll have replays of office hours in there. We've got some old Zenlers in there, which are very specific to us, an individual uh, use case. Uh, we've got pro user interviews in there. Again, it's not a training thing. It's just a, let's see how people are using New Zenla for their business. Um, so there's videos in there that don't fit anywhere else in the three areas that we have here at New Zenla for you. But it's always worth subscribing and hitting the notify button. So when we do upload a new video, you'll get notified that that's gone in there. One of the good areas, and probably this is why it's at the top of the YouTube channel, that you do want to take note of is the new feature releases. So if there's been new features added or new elements to a feature has been added, we always do a video on that part. And you can just very quickly go there and find out if you've not been to New Zenla for a month, for example, just go in and look through the last months. Oh, what's been added new? What have I missed out on? And you might find something that you've been waiting for that's been holding you back that's been released and you've missed it in the Facebook group. So it's really useful place to go and see. Again, we, as with the tutorial site, we've got a search function on YouTube. So if you're looking for something in particular, we've tried to create the playlist as simply as possibly, but you might want to just put a search in there to try and find out um, what you're looking for. We're very good at labeling stuff correctly. So hopefully your results will come up as an appropriate result for what you're looking for. So they're the three resources we've got. We've spent time over the last year and a half building these for you. So they're up to date, they're current, they're applicable to you as course creators and people wishing to create your full online presence using New Zenla. Of course, we're always adding to it. If you've got suggestions of anything that you feel is missing from the training, then please do reach out to the team and let us know. We're always open to the idea of creating different boot camps or creating different trainings for you. Um, we, we work on what we see and the feedback that we get. So please do get involved as a community and ask for what you might want. Doesn't mean you'll always get it, just like with the feature requests, but it certainly means that we'll sit here as a team and consider is it possible for us to do it for you, the community of New Zealand users. So there are resources, they're all free of charge, of course. Uh, we don't charge you for any of the training, any of the boot camps, any of the day with Zendlers or any of that. That's all complimentary. It's done with, with gratitude from us to you uh, as New Zendler users with the only goal of trying to get you to use your New Zendler sites more effectively for your business. So please do take advantage of that. Okay. Let's um, just see if anybody's in the chat, if anybody woken up yet. Uh, Tracy's here, so hi from Australia, Tracy. Good to see you here. I'll come back to your question in a minute, if that's okay. If anybody does have any more questions, then please do type them into the chat. And whilst we're here and we're live, we will always answer them for you. But what we're gonna do now is move on to the change log for this week. So uh, as always, Rakesh takes the change log for us and tells us what's been happening on the New Zealand platform and what might be coming up. So Rakesh, over to you, please, for the change log. Cool, thanks, Kevin, can you hear me? Yeah, can hear you. Cool, uh, hey, thanks for uh, everyone who's joining in this morning. Um, yeah, at New Zealand, we're constantly trying to improve the platform for you. We constantly prioritize the issues that you know you have been facing, and we constantly you know uh, try to work on that to make sure we improve the platform around, uh, so that whatever we do is based around what you guys need. And I think uh, recently, uh, not recently, this has been long-standing ask from the community uh, to be able to um, to be able to upload file sizes more than one gig, and quite uh, uh, this is an exclusive preview just for the group. Um, that I have been announced it yet. So I'm just going to share the screen. So on, so we have just added this change now of uh, all the video uploads for all, all the videos. Now you should be able to upload file sizes more than one gig. So we support, we have just doubled up uh, basically your video upload sizes. 
from one gig to two gig. So if you come in here, uh, if you go to videos, uh, you can see here, uh, max file size is two gig. So we had just doubled up um, from one gig to two gig. Um, a lot of people have been asking for it. And I think we are kind of in line with all the major platforms out there. Um, yeah, so two gig is more than enough, I think. Um, so we doubled up the video upload sizes from one gig to two gig. Uh, having said that, we always, always recommend you to still optimize your videos using Handbrake to optimize your bandwidth and the experience your student has. So because obviously the, si the, the larger the sizes are for the video, the more the buffering and stuff like that can happen because of all the internet related issues. So make sure uh, despite the increased um, upload size limit, you always make sure you um, run your videos through Handbrake every time just to make sure you have the right size in. Um, yeah, so I think it's, it's, a, it's a big update uh, uh, for videos. So currently for videos, uh, so we upload with the new feature, uh, we upload, we allow video upload sizes from of, of two gig instead of one gig. And uh, just a word of uh, a note, just a note that currently we support two gig only for videos uh, and you can upload the two gig videos only from the uh, only from the curriculum area, only from the video library. Uh, we have not yet added support to the media library yet. So we are going working on adding support for all file sizes for up to two gig. Uh, we're going to add that also in the next update. Uh, but currently, uh, we just doubled up your video upload sizes from one gig to two gig. Back to you, Kevin. You caught me on the hop there. Um, <laughs> okay, brilliant. That's really good. And I know it's something that people often ask for and share a frustration for within the community where they're saying, you know what, it's just not allowing me to upload this video. I've done a four hour stream and I want to upload it and it's just too big. Um, do consider it, but do consider the whole back and the process of actually getting it into your site right now. Um, so it has to go in via the curriculum um, and that's the way that you need to do that. But another good update. and. One of the things that always astounds me and is something that often isn't talked about is that we do give you pretty much unlimited storage for your resources with New Zenla. And this is something that we don't shout too much about, but actually isn't necessarily something that everybody gets everywhere. Um, often people will have upload limits on courses or students or things like that, um, or resources. And at Zenla, you pretty much get enough for what you'll ever need. Um, and we don't charge you extra for that. That's all included within your accounts with pro and premium users. So it's another great, unique feature, I think, to New Zenla uh, to be able to do that. Now, talking of support and stuff not necessarily going right, um, I'm still seeing a number of people asking in the Facebook group for technical support. Now, the Facebook group is a fantastic environment. It's a great community. It's brilliant for getting um, bits of advice from the other users in there. What it's not so good at doing is sorting out technical issues for you. So if you've got something not going right, you've gone through the tutorials, you've asked for some advice maybe on the Facebook group and it's not working, shouting for technical support from New Zender in a Facebook group will not escalate anything. Um, that's not the way that the tech support people work. As a business, we have to have a process and it's really important that we communicate that process to you so you can get the fastest response time for your support question. So if you're only relying on the community, you may get the answer from them, but it might also take you a lot longer. So the way to do this is there is only one route to get official support from news, the New Zenla team, and that's support at zenla.com, which is by email. Uh, if you're having an issue with something, then please take a video recording of what that issue is send that into that email address and you will get a support ticket number come back to you within a minute or two. Uh, that's really important you get that email back. That means we've received it. It's in our queue to be dealt with by the tech support team and they will come back to you as soon as they possibly can. Now, there are things to remember here. Obviously, it's an ordering system. So it's 
goes into a queue system for what people are looking for. So if we get 10 tickets come in in an hour and you're the last one, you're tenth in the queue to be dealt with. Now, sometimes questions are really easy for support to answer. Sometimes there's a bit more going on. The video really speeds up the way of actually trying to recreate that problem. Because remember, the tech support people are sitting there with a working system. They know how New Zealand works inside and out. You've got your system that's not working. If you're saying this doesn't work, we have to, if you don't only write what's going on, they have to try and recreate that problem. And that's not always easy to do. That takes more time. If you can show us a video of you clicking through different bits and saying, well, this hasn't worked, or I've tried this, or I'm testing it as a student and it's meant to do this, but I click here and it doesn't do that. Why is that? Then it means that straight away the technical support team can go, I know exactly what's gone on. They can either go into your account and help you resolve it, or they can tell you how to resolve it. Um, and it just, I can't explain enough how much that speeds the response process up for you. So if you want quicker support as a Zenla community, always try and do a video. Sometimes it's a localized issue. So sometimes it might be your PC's conflicting, you're using the wrong browser. It could be um, that your resources are low, your internet speed is poor or a combination of those things, in which case we can work that out by what you send us. But always remember, New Zealand works best on a Google Chrome browser. Lots of people are still using Safari um, and they're coming up with issues and saying it's not working. And our first question is, are you using Chrome? Half of the people are saying, actually, no, I'm not. Well, we say go and use that and it sorts the problem out. So. Always come in with as much detail as possible as you can on the video. So I'm using the Chrome browser. This is what I've done. I'm in a cloaked window, et cetera, et cetera. I've got cookies turned off. This is my issue. And what will happen is that speeds, if one person, but if everybody did that, the response time would go up for everybody. That's my point here. So please try and be mindful of the support team and the work that they're doing. So that's how you get technical support from New Zenla. And it is the only official way of getting that. So please bear that in mind. Okay, let's head on to questions because I know we've had a question coming from Tracy. Um, so let's see who else. Johnny's here as well. So good morning to you, Johnny. Um, we'll come to your comments in a moment. So first question from Tracy, is there any way we can tag a member in the community so they get a notification? So I'm assuming that's a Zenla community. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. Hi, Tracy. Good to see you here again. Um, yeah, currently, I think when you add a mention, you do not get a notification. Uh, again, this is on the list uh, of items we are planning to address when we revamp the community. So currently, uh, it does not send any notification. I think um, Tracy was also asking if she can tag, um, actually tag them so that she can send email broadcasts. But Tracy, if you have the community tied to a course, then you can just send email to people with the course because they'll be in the community um, or send an email if it's an open community. Obviously, you can send it to all of them. Now, if you want to tag those, you could actually just filter those people um, from a course and then export them out, bring them back in and tag them. And that way you could tag them. But there's no point because they'd be in a course anyway. So you don't need to tag them unless you've got a specific purpose for that. Um, it kind of like already does it. Yeah. And um, communities is on the list to be upgraded at some point. It's not going to be this year. Um, so it will probably be next year. Uh, we've talked about it for a while. We know that there are features people want. So uh, look out for that at some point next year. Of course, we'll notify you during, for, via the change log, a video update, and of course, via office hours when that's going to happen. So, But it is a very useful resource if you're not using it right now. Uh, so, Johnny, uh, good to see you here this morning. Um, I see you've been watching us on YouTube every night. A um, bit hardcore every single night watching a New Zealand YouTube video, but I applaud your commitment to it, um, and uh, it helps our stats for sure. Um, so, Johnny's also got a sort of a comment more than anything, but he would love to see evergreen webinars in Zenla. Is that something that's on the cards? Uh, yeah, I think I just chatted the, the link to, to how to set up evergreen webinars using funnels, but that's something uh, we will uh, 
add in the future, uh, like an evergreen funnel, uh, evergreen webinar funnel type. So currently, yeah, using the steps shown in the video, uh, the link that I sent, you should be able to create like a simulator, like an um, evergreen webinar. But um, yeah, it is, it's a workaround right now. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so that's as Johnny's saying that he sees that as a replay, not an evergreen. And yeah, I, I get where you're coming from that. I, it's a work in progress for us. Uh, we've got them working that way right now. Um, there are things happening on that side of things. Um, along with paid for webinars, paid for classes, et cetera, et cetera. They're coming, they're on uh, the development panel at the moment. So that's going to happen at some point as well. So keep your eyes out for that. So that area is being upgraded. Remember, it was only um, what a year and a half ago that we even added um, Zoom into New Zender and live streaming. Um, it wasn't that long ago. Um, and even if you think about Facebook Lives and how long ago they started, we're only talking maybe three years ago uh, as a technology. So it's still a very young technology. And to have it working as efficiently as it does within a platform like New Zenla, even the way we're streaming this via a New Zenla site, our tutorial site, directly into Facebook, it's stable, it's good, it works. Um, and to have that even in there as part of your membership, I think is phenomenal. Um, and we're still looking to build upon that. So it's still new for developers. It's still new for tech teams to work that technology out and to move forward with it. But it's definitely on the cards. So um, another question. So Marlos, um, hopefully I pronounced that correctly. Good to see you here. Uh, what about ideal integration and update mail system? Uh, hey, Malas, I think uh, what Malas is uh, referring to is adding ideal integration on the Stripe. Uh, currently, we do not support it. Again, this is on the list. So we are working on what is uh, priority for major majority of users. So yeah, at some point, point of time, we will get to it, but it uh, it's, it's going to take some time, um, just to be clear. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, so Johnny's just saying videos on autoplay, auto video autoplay, on course pages. So I've posted um, a link to a video that we did. Um, by default, you in Chrome, so it varies from browser to browser, but um, some allow you to. It means you've got to alter the embed code to get it to autoplay. Uh, I know Chrome, for instance, will allow you to autoplay, but it won't allow you to actually play the sound. So it mutes it, but it will play it. So if you follow that video I've posted there, that will show you how to do it. It's no problem. Uh, it's not associated with Zenla. This is just the way it works. So you actually be actually changing and adapting the embed code for the video itself. So yes. is that using is that using a uh, Vimeo embed code or is it using uh, it's uh, it, it's well the 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 principles the same for anything really but it's using YouTube uh, embed code but you can all, guys you, if you're using Vimeo or any of that you can always Google Google it um, and you know altering the embed code for Vimeo and it will tell you what you need to put in how you need to alter that code put it into a test page test it all works and then actually take that code and put it into the page that you want. Yeah, and definitely we will be looking at adding uh, autoplay onto the pages as well. Yeah, even better. Perfect. Um, so Johnny's just saying, just so you know, Zenlu is awesome. You're not, and he's not criticising us. Johnny, we never take feedback as criticism. Um, you know, we love to hear from the community and what's going on in the community. That's one of our big things here at Newsenda is being totally immersed and connected to the users of Newsenda and finding out what you guys want. Now, you might ask for stuff and we'll say, let's think about it. It might not be possible. I have absolutely no idea. Um, but what you do get is you get direct access to us, the team here at New Zenla. We help to shape the way that New Zenla moves forward. Um, and we only can do that in a really meaningful way if the users of New Zenla come up into things like office hours and say, you know what, can we have autoplay? Can we have this? Can we do that? Um, how do we do that? Because it's that's how that works. Um, so we're absolutely never take any feedback as criticism. And the more people get involved and the more people come up with suggestions, the happier we are, um, because it means people are so engaged with the platform. They want to do more with it. And that's brilliant. And we're quite open to the idea of looking at new features, new functionality and seeing how we can make that work. Um, again, it's not always possible. And the bigger news end becomes the more difficult sometimes simple things are. That doesn't mean it won't happen. It just means it might take a little bit longer. But we as a business have to look at it and say, this is what's going on. Our community want this. A big proportion want it. 
let's move <clears> forward and see if we can add that feature in. So by all means, Johnny, come on, ask away. Uh, you're based in Ireland. Fantastic. Um, you also want a T-shirt. Johnny, are you a pro or premium user? If you are, um, we'll stick you on the list and get you a T-shirt sent out. Yeah, even better, just send an email to support at zender.com and they can look at that. Yeah. Uh, I delivered a Zender Masterclass to 10 course creators last night. Nice one. Yeah, Johnny uh, wants the job. <laughs> yeah. uh, Marlos is just saying she has a t-shirt your pro Johnny just send an email support at zendler.com with I'd love a new Zendler t-shirt and then stick your address in there and uh, the team will uh, send you one out so yeah where's the photo uh, t-shirts don't exist unless you've you've got the photo of it so we need to perhaps we need to do a day with that where people come on and show off their Zendler t-shirts <laughs> uh, do a live stream with it but um, there we go. Okay, cool. Right, we're heading on for half an hour. Um, so it's been fantastic to have you all here with us today. It's time to start wrapping up. Um, so at this point in the office hours, we tend to just go around the team just to see if there's anything I've forgotten, anything upcoming that we need to think about for the week ahead. So David, I'll hand over to you first. Have you got anything for this week coming? Uh, yes, we have a live build happening on Friday uh, with Mina. Um, she's looking it's a little bit different this one because although I'm going to do a little bit of a design scan because I think it'll help her um, she's not asked for design on her website she's just asked for functionality and in this case she's looking at embedding Calendly because she does live to live one session one to one sessions but she actually and she's running that successfully but she now wants to get all the site ready so it's going to be more of a make it all work session as opposed to a design session that we normally do so that's happening on Friday the end of this month, probably a little bit earlier than normal, we're running a day with Zendler as well. And of course, every Sunday we have live workshops. You can find all about that in the tutorials.newzendler.com site. That's it from me, Kevin. Perfect. Rakesh, anything from you for the upcoming week? Uh, yeah, I think um, we are uh, close to releasing um, shipping um, live pricing and also live class uh, type for curriculum. Um, these are the stuff that is coming up very soon. Uh, and we are also working on the page editor, but that's going to be a, a major major work. Uh, that's going to take a few months. But yeah, so what's coming up is live class lesson type uh, for your courses, and also live pricing where you will be able to sell live classes and live webinars for the first time. That's it. Perfect. Um, for Alice, Alice isn't here, but she's now really getting involved in delivering sessions each week. So for Alice, you need to look out for her weekly webinars that she does. Um, they're ones that introduce people that don't know about New Zenla to New Zenla. So if you're using New Zenla, you want to introduce someone to it. If you're a partner of New Zenla, this is the perfect opportunity to come along and invite them along where Alice will walk them through the system, how it works, what's available, what the features are, and all of that type of thing. So it's a really great way of doing it. If you are a partner as well, we always encourage during that webinar for anybody that's interested in signing up to use the partner link or go back to the person that invited them to use their partner link. So we're doing this in conjunction with you as a community. So we're not trying to circumvent the partners. We want to include the partners in this. So if you do have someone that you want to invite, maybe they're asking questions you don't know the answer, then invite them along to that webinar. And Alice and sometimes one of the rest of the team are there as well. Um, will always help you out on that. She's also running her onboarding sessions. So if you're a pro or premium user, you've built, you've bought New Zenla recently or you've had it for some time but not used it, then book in with Alice to have an onboarding session where she'll go in and help you navigate around the system in a really clear and concise manner to get you started because there's no good having a system if you don't use it. Um, it won't help you at all. So the onboarding sessions are there to really get you a bit more um, seeing what's possible, how you can use it, take some of the overwhelm away of a system that you may feel is a little bit too complex for you um, and just really getting you started with it. So they're really good sessions and there's only a couple of people normally on each one of those. So do get involved with those. And again, both of those are free. Uh, we don't charge for any of those. For me, um, we've got 
uh, Zen Chat happening Monday. Now, we had one this Monday, so it's unusual to have them uh, consecutively on a Monday. But because we're heading into December, Christmas hours and all of that type of stuff, I've had to read the schedule a little bit. So it's going to be next Monday and then two weeks from now. So 4 p.m. Uh, GMT for both of those on a Monday. Look out for that. The registration link is already in the events on Facebook. So please do feel free to come along and network for a couple of hours, an hour, hour and a half with some of the other New Zealand users, see what they're up to. They can get to understand you and your business a bit more and you can see whether there's any opportunity there for collaboration, support, et cetera, et cetera. So it's, we've run four, five of these now and people are now starting to have some really good conversations from a business point of view. So it's well worth coming along to those. I host and facilitate, but it's very much about the members coming along and the benefit you'll get from it. So they're a lot of fun as well. So do feel free to come along to those. Um, what else do I have for you? No, that's it for me. Next week, office hours, 5 p.m. GMT. So look out on Facebook events, all of the ones that are there. We run it directly to Facebook. You can say that you're going, it will give you a reminder. We alternate every week, as you know. So this week we're at 10 a.m. GMT. Next week it's 5 p.m. GMT. It's so we can capture as many people live around the world as we possibly can within a two-week period. Let's say you have to read an incredible... So... Thank you very much for coming along. I hope you've enjoyed today's session. Um, if there's any other questions, we'll answer them once we close the live stream down. But enjoy using New Zenla, and we will see you at one of our events or next week at office hours. Thanks very much, everyone, and see you all soon.